This is Alan Farley. Netflix rallied strongly starting at the end of 2017, topping out around 425. It pulled back through the rest of the year while U.S. markets were struggling due to uh, the trade war scare. Uh, bottoming out right at the end of the year after losing a uh, little bit less than uh, 200 points or right around 200 points. It had a good performance in 2019, but the, the rally stalled before reaching the uh, prior high. It stalled up in the 380s and then uh, pulled back into uh, the end of the third quarter. Uh, it posted a higher, a higher low at that time, higher than the uh, 2018 low, and it bounced once again starting 2019 right at excuse me, starting 2020 at right at 2019 resistance. Uh, the pandemic soon th then came and knocked the stock back down into the 200s, uh, where it posted uh, the second higher low off of the 2018 low. Uh, analysts then realized that the pandemic would uh, probably trigger a, a huge subscriber growth because people had nothing better to do. And the stock took off because buy rating after buy rating piled up. Uh, it uh, topped out uh, just after breaking out above the 2018 high, and uh, in the last uh, two months, it's just wobbled sideways, uh, trying to catch its breath. Uh, at the same time, on balance volume has uh, sort of taken a dip. It's showing very little enthusiasm, especially for a stock in a new high. Uh, this kind of makes sense because we've entered a holding period because in which no one knows uh, whether the pandemic is going to be over, or whether there's going to be a second wave that causes uh, even more shutdowns that will contribute to even greater subscriber growth. Uh, it's very likely that this, uh, this holding pattern up here is going to last through most of 2020 until we get a better handle on, uh, on the pandemic.